After years of bloody conflict, the vampire Nikolai Kalu cut down his master Luther Crow and proclaimed himself Lord of Altenath, or at least what was left of it. Nikolai's coup had left the city in ruins, with over 80% of its inhabitants dead. With only his right-hand man, a necromancer who calls himself Yethik the Reaper, and the Hands of Mercy, an ironically named group of degenerate mortal thugs who serve Nikolai faithfully, when paid of course. Vampire Lord Nikolai Kalu set his sights on both sides of the realm gate that stood in the heart of Altanath. On the one side was the realm of Shaman, an ever-changing realm full of powerful magic and artifacts. On the other, the savage and nigh untamable realm of Gur. Both would bear witness to his rise in power. He would muster his forces, ride out and conquer, and rebuild his ancestral home to its former glory. He would see the realms bow in fear before his endless armies of undead. Hey everybody, this is Matthew from MiniWarGaming.com and welcome to The Conquest of Blood, a special narrative campaign for Age of Sigmar, where I will be the Games Master and Luca will be taking on the role of a deadly vampire lord who has recently reconquered a city and now has his sights set on the realms around, just like you heard in the intro. We're going to be using the Path to Glory rule system from Age of Sigmar 3rd Edition with some modifications, some heavy, some less heavy, because we wanted this to be a map-based campaign where we have a map for the realm of metal and a map for the realm of Gur. Luca, at the beginning of every session, will be given an option of several missions that he can go on. Not all of them will be available afterwards, and so some of them will disappear because he wasn't able to do them in time. So he'll have to carefully choose which territories to conquer, which artifacts to find, which quests to go on, in order to best earn the glory points that he needs in order to upgrade his stronghold to an imposing stronghold and a mighty stronghold, which would represent, of course, him rebuilding his city and raising up his armies of undead and all his mortal thugs as well, because this vampire lord is not beneath using mortals in order to, to do his bidding, which we'll be taking a look at in just a second. Now, we have a special treat for you. This narrative campaign, like others, is mainly for our Vault members, because what we do is we put every other episode in the Mini Wargaming Vault. So today we have two episodes for you, this one for free on YouTube, and the second one will be in the Vault. And so if you're not a Vault member, you won't really be able to follow the story, you'll just have to watch some random missions, which could be fun, but doesn't give you the full experience. Now, if you're on the fence about whether to be a Vault member, we have an offer for you to try to, you know, goad you into trying out our free seven-day trial. And that is, if you try our free seven-day trial through the link below, which is miniwargaming.com slash conquest, then whether you continue being a Vault member, even if you cancel, we will give you this entire narrative campaign for free. What that means is if you cancel your Vault membership, you can still go to our site, log in with your, the username that you use to buy the Vault membership, and even though it's canceled and you're not paying anything, you should have access to this narrative campaign. So that's our incentive to get you to try it out. But without further ado, let's jump into looking at the starting forces of what Luca has, and then look at the choices he has to make for his first mission. In Path to Glory, you decide on a starting points or value that you can build your roster from. So this is a legion size, which is 2,000 points, maximum 16 units. Now it has some interesting limitations that uh, you can only have like one wizard, one war machine, one monster, one ally, and only one reinforced unit. Now at the starting size of legion, you're normally starting with three territories, which could help you get over some of those limits. But I decided not to have Lucas start with any territories besides his main uh, city and his outpost because of the way that he's going to gain territories by conquering on the map He won't have to pay glory points for them where normally you would so I don't mind him starting with less The only thing we said though is that he was allowed to bring two wizards because we wanted to do a vampire lord and a necromancer So what you're seeing here is his roster not his army And so what that means is when we go to play games I will then tell him you know bring a thousand points or bring 1500 points or maybe bring 2000 points and he has to build a list from within that 
It does not follow the normal pitch battle rules or anything like that. Uh, so he just has to pick from his roster. Of course, he's going to want to bring forward his, his mighty heroes. And then every unit will gain renown, which is basically experience, and eventually get veteran abilities. And then we have even a custom upgrade chart for the Vampire Lord himself. And all the extra rules that I created, I put into a quick Google document. And so I'll try to remember to link to that in the description below, but I'll definitely post on our site under Tools and Rules. So if you go to our site, you can see all of that in case you want to run something similar. This works really well if you have a Games Master and you have a map that you're working on. Whereas Normal Path to Glory, it abstracts the map and the territories and all of that. You don't actually take territories from each other, you just write them down and you get to do that. So Luca, why don't you walk us through what you decided to do for your starting roster? Right, so the idea kind of came from old school Warhammer Fantasy where uh, if you were from Sylvania, you'd be able to allow the humans to uh, be a part of your military. So you'd have like Sylvanian crossbowmen or Sylvanian uh, handgunners and stuff like that. So that's why we included the mercenary company here. These are the Hands of Mercy, ironically named, as you'll see throughout this campaign. And uh, leading that company is uh, Archibald. Uh, he Who Smiles, or Archibald the Merciful, or he goes by many names. He is infamous uh, in the realms. He is a free guild uh, general, but he'll be acting as a mercenary commander, essentially, for this company. Uh, he has nothing for now, you know, as he gains renown, he'll upgrade. But l part of the, the mercenary, or the part of the company here, we have free guild crossbowmen, we have free guild handgunners, and a free guild guard unit. Uh, one with some great swords as well and Pistoliers and Outriders. Now, this isn't the entire company narratively. This is a part of the company. It's a pretty big company in the realms, and this is what uh, the vampire Nikolai was able to afford, uh, essentially. The ones he's currently having access to. Like, narratively, the rest of them are maintaining order in the city or something like that, or just drunk in some tavern, and so he hasn't built up enough glory to get their attention. Absolutely. Now, I should point out the rules that I decided to do for these. For all intents and purposes, they are not allies or mercenaries or anything like that, they're actually going to be part of the Legion of Blood Soulblight Gravelord's army. And so I decided to go for some interesting things because of that. First off, because they're so used to being around death, they all have plus one bravery. And if a vampire lord is within three inches of them, they can reroll failed battle shock. But they can also actually be affected by some interesting things, like your deathly, uh, sorry, what's the, the one, I'm going to get the names wrong. It's Deathly Invocation. Is that the one that brings models back? That's the Allegiance Ability one, yeah. Right. And there's a spell too. Yeah, so anything that allows you to bring summonable units back can be cast on any of the Cities of Sigmar on foot. And what it does is it actually brings them back as zombies. Yeah, zombies. And so let's say he units. lost four of his free guild guard here, and then he resummoned D3 of them, and he rolled as a two then you actually add two zombies to that unit. Now, they don't get the zombie rule of being able to be in combat even when they're six inches away, unless the entire unit has turned into zombies, <laughs> in which case they can get that. And uh, so, yeah, so it's just kind of a cool thing like that. Also, like the spell invigorating aura that lets you bring back three of them could work on the ones on foot as well. You can't use it to heal things like the Outriders and Pistoliers because yeah. they're not actually healing. It's more like rising. The thug dies and then he rises them as a zombie, right? which is kind of fun. Also... The other abilities I wanted to include, uh, the Vampire Lord has a command ability that he can give a unit plus one attack, and he can use it on them. And the Necromancer has a spell, the Dance Macabre, that lets a unit fight twice, and he can give it to them as well. However, that death magic surging through them is not good for them. So when the Vampire Lord uses that ability, at the end of the combat phase, you roll a die for every model, and on a six plus, they take a mortal wound. And it's five plus for Van Hell's Dance Macabre, as they're all just kind of like, Force forward of death magic and it saturates and then kills them. But who cares, right? As long as you get your goals done, there's always more thugs to hire. So yeah, so all those rules are in that document that I was mentioning before. So you can check that out. I wanted to basically make them work in this army rather than just have them be allies that didn't interact at all. So continue, Luca. That was your mercenary side. What's the rest of it? Now we'll focus on the death aspect of it. We are going to be using the Legion of Blood. That's uh, where his lineage comes from. Though he's lived in, in this city, he was turned by the vampire he killed. And uh, he overthrew him, murdered him, and 80% uh, of the cities lost their lives. Luckily, uh, Nikolai here is a master of reducing, reusing, and recycling. 
So we were able to repurpose those corpses into zombies and dire wolves and, you know, creatures of the night, skeletons, all of that good stuff. Now, Nikolai himself will be the general, uh, overall general, warlord, in fact, in the Path of Glory rules here. He is going to um, have the artifact of power, the Ring of Dominion, and he took that off of the previously cold, now colder corpse of the previous master of the city, the previous vampire lord he killed. It works uh, when he goes to fight on a 5+, plus. he'll be able to potentially mind control his opponent and force them to inflict mortal wounds on themselves. Uh, maybe that'll come up throughout the campaign. He's going to know the Spirit Gale, I believe, spell from the lore of vampires. Yeah, Spirit Gale. And uh, uh, that's kind of it for him right now. Oh, his command trait. Yeah, I forgot about that. He is going to have the premeditated violence, I believe it's called. Every time he rolls an unmodified 6 to hit with his sword, uh, it'll count as two hits instead of one. I'm trying to like think late game when he gets to become a big B. I want him to be like a, a blender lord is uh, my goal for him uh, throughout this campaign. Now his right hand man, we got Yethic the Reaper. This is a necromancer. He is going to know the Fading Vigor spell. That's pretty much it. He is going to be overseeing the control of the Death Rattle and the Dead Walker units while uh, Nikolai himself can, well, try his best to look impressive on the battlefield and... Uh, enjoy himself because uh you know he's lived for quite a while and he has to do uh interesting things to uh find enjoyment in life i suppose we do have a corpse cart which is by the way one of my like favorite models in like all of warhammer it's there's so like there, obviously there's something horrible about it it's being dragged by zombies it's a corpse cart it's literally it's so cool i love it uh ours is unfortunately a little broken there but we're gonna be counting it as a brazier so it'll, it'll um, ex expunge fumes. The fumes will be coming off of it, making it harder to hurt my models nearby and m reducing one from your casting rolls if you're within 18 inches of it for an enemy wizard. And then other than that, though, I wanted a folk uh, I wanted the old Sylvanian feel, so we have a lot of creatures of the night. We have dire wolves, two units of 10, a unit of fell bats, zombie skeletons, and graveguard uh, to fill out the rest of my roster. I did not want anything super elite, super hard hitting. I used my one reinforcement on the zombies. I wanted the focus of the campaign to kind of be on the inclusion of the Hands of Mercy and on Nikolai the Vampire himself as he levels up. I, I was too worried about having like a big brick of grave guard that would just carry me every game. I want, I want it to be like the inclusion of everything that does well together. And then the oh, spell. And the horror gas. Yeah, I was, I was kind of down on points and I really like what they did with the horror gas recently and uh, it actually works very well with the Legion of Blood as well. Uh, making it so inspiring presence cannot be used on units nearby it. And Legion of Blood, when something runs away, D3 things run away. And obviously I have um, morale reducing mechanics as well. So, or sorry, bravery reducing mechanics as well. So there is a, some synergy here. Not like game breakingly cool, but cool enough that I wanted to include. And that is your starting roster. So now we're going to jump into the narrative of the first missions. My lord Nikolai, your dark powers are without match. These lands will soon be yours. I have sent out our scouts and found some immediate territories for your mighty, glorious purpose. On this side of the realm gate, not more than a day's march away, there are the vast broken gear planes. Rumors are that powerful artifacts can be found there, in addition to new followers to gather. In the bestial realm of Gur, there are two immediate areas of concern that threaten our outpost on that side. Your scouts have found Dreadwood to be infested with the nasty Grotz, who appear to be trying to complete a ritual to summon their bad moon. To the south, the Balepok swamps are infested with the demon plagues and need to be cleansed, replacing them with our dark magics. Where should we send our troops first, my lord? The Vampire Lord's forces must disrupt the ritual, which is a battle plan from the core rulebook on page 332. The Gloomspite Gets have set up their ritual site in their territory with a couple of arcane repositories. All three of these count as objectives. What is going to happen is at the end of each battle round, we're gonna see how well the ritual is going. If I control the ritual site, if the Gloomspite gets control the ritual site, they gain D6 victory points, and then they gain D3 victory points for each arcane repository they control. Then, the ritualist, the Gloomspite gets, will lose D3 victory points for each objective controlled by 
the vampire's forces for just tracking ritual points overall. Now, in order to not lose this, the vampire forces must keep the ritual points below 14 by the end of the game. They can go above 14 and drop back below, that's fine. It's a minor victory if he keeps it below 14, and a major victory if he keeps it below 12. Otherwise, it's a minor victory for the Gloom Spike Gits if it's 14 or 15, and a major victory if it's 16 or more. In addition, every friendly unit within six inches of an objective at the end of the battle gains a bonus renown point. And here we are, deployed and ready to go. Not all the Gloom Spike forces are on the table, by the way, so there might be more waiting in reserve to ambush. And there's the Vampire Lord himself, ready to lead his forces forward. Yeah, and Archibald's right there. And Archibald's <laughs> right there near him. And where's your Necromancer? Uh, Yethic is over here with the zombies. Yes, of course he is. That's where he feels the most comfortable. Yeah, we got the... They don't talk back. They don't, no, not at all. They don't converse, and he's like, <laughs> I like it better that way. No, no matter how, like, yeah, no, no lip. Whatever he says goes. Exactly, exactly. And so um, you are the invader, of course, or the disruptor in this case. And so that meant that he had to deploy first, uh, more than nine inches away from my territory. And then I deployed second, more than six inches away. And uh, we'll be using the faction terrain rules for this piece, of course, even though this will be the ritual site. And then we've got the two arcane waypoints um, using those mushrooms. My bad moon will start in this corner over here and then hopefully rise up as the ritual, as the ritual rises to completion. But, Luca, you get to choose who goes first, uh, being the Disruptors. So, uh, what's your choice? And it's, remember, objectives are scored at the end of the battle round. Yeah, so you don't just get to run forward and be like, haha, a bunch of victory points for me. I kind of want to, like, march my... I want to go second. My army marches forward, and then the uh, the dire will start bail, bailing and howling. Or baying and howling. Baying and howling. Baying and howling. So, and hold then, on. So you go first or second? I'm going to go second. Okay. Yeah. That's your final answer? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right. And I guess we should mention, with your 1,500 points, you basically weren't able to bring your whole roster. Right. So you had to leave some of your skeletons and some of your mercenaries back at home in the yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly that. But you do have an endless spell that you're ready to use if you need it as well. I'll try and cast it probably right away. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. In my hero phase, well, first off, looking at command points, one thing that I didn't mention is that whenever Luca is fighting adjacent to his city or an outpost, he gets a bonus command point every single battle round. Yeah. So you actually have four right now. Two for going first, a third one for that bonus, and then one more for your general being on the table at the start of my hero phase. And I, I, I want to point out narratively this outpost in the Realm of Beast. I don't actually care about it, but I know it's going to be a pain in my butt if I don't take care of it and yes. control the surrounding areas. Well, yeah, you imagine if you lost that outpost, you'd have, I know. you'd have to seal the Realm Gate somehow. Exactly. I had to seal the Realm Gate, and then I had to put extra defenses on the city, and I can't focus on the Realm of Metal. So I do have to put some attention to this crap <laughs> as to right. deal with the grots. Exactly. Oh, exactly. my. Exactly. Uh, so for my heroic action, I am going to be heroic leadership. We'll do that on this uh, loon boss on Cave Squig, giant Cave Squig. And he fails. What is your heroic action going to be? We're also going to do heroic leadership. Why not? Uh, Nikolai, Why not? we fail. No. All right. No heroic leadership today. My madcap shaman here is going to try to cast Squig Lure, which will allow me to choose D3 Squig units and let them run in charge. I make it with a 10. How many spells can you cast? Only two. Okay, I'll, I'll try and so stop it. So you might as well try to stop it. Nikolai will attempt to stop it. That's a nine, not good enough. So not good enough, Nikolai. So D3 squig units. Six. Just one. <laughs> uh, so let's them run and charge. So let's give it to the squig hoppers right there. So now they can... Oh, they're so bad. They, yeah, but... The, <laughs> they, the, you don't tell me what's bad. And then we're going to have my fungoid cave shaman try to summon... Mork's Maleficent Mushroom, an endless spell, needs a six to cast. Um, he does have the command trait to be able to reroll a casting, unbinding, and dispel once per turn. So I could reroll that to make it better, because I, I want the spell to go off. But now, nah, what the heck, I'll keep it. All right. My reroll will probably make me fail. Yeah, I think the Reaper. We'll roll oh, he stops it. That's good, because that thing is a hundred points. And does a lot of mortal wounds. Oh, it does do a lot of mortal wounds? Yes. Oh, no. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't look at his profile. He just said... So well, you place it within 66 inches. And okay. it's not, not predatory, so it stays there. And at the start of every shooting phase, you every unit within oh, oh, 8 inches. Okay. 
Um, you roll a number of dice equal to the number of models within eight inches, and a five plus it takes mortal wounds. M must you place it? Say you roll like six on 66. Do you have to put it down? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'd have to put it behind me. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no, yeah, yeah that'd, be, <laughs> that'd be pretty bad luck. <laughs> but like imagine just dropping it like right here. Boom. Then pretty much every model, it's a five plus, so one in three of your models will. will it's not ideal. Will <laughs> definitely disappear. So no, you stopped it this time, but this time only. Beginning my movement phase, this limb boss is a screech up. Let's get bouncing! Oh, yeah. It's a command ability. Hold, all squig units, hold you within 12, get plus three to their movement. Mm, boy. Let's start with the squig hoppers. They move 3d6 inches, and I'm gonna run them. I have no rerolls here, so I can just lump these all together, because they can charge after they do this. Watch out, here they come. Oh, no. Well, that's a pretty bad roll, but remember, they got plus three to this. So that's 10, 12, 15 inches. Ooh, that's actually pretty bad. Boingy boingy boing as they hop forward. It's not too bad. It's really only another couple of inches would have made a difference there. As they land on top, unbeknownst to them, they land on top of that gravesite. There's lots of bodies underneath <laughs> it. These freaking fools built all this stuff on gravesites they don't even know about. Yeah, well, I think there's dead bodies everywhere, Luca. Especially in Dreadwood. Yeah, Dreadwood. They yeah. Help, yeah. I'll roll a run in. You know, no, they're not going to run. They're just going to move. They're eight inches. Normally not eight inches, but they've got the let's get bouncing, let's, let's get bouncing, bouncing, let's get bouncing in their heads. And now you have that in your head too. Let's get bouncing, let's, let's get bouncing. I got let's. snake jazz. <laughs> His movement profile is 2d6. It's a healthy nine, which goes up to a 12. Hmm. But he can't run in charge. I was hoping to get Squiggler on him too, so I could jump forward, but now nah, we'll just go. We'll throw a run on him just for fun. So uh, 17 inches. He's just gonna come up here. Then my shooters are gonna move forward. That's right. Have you seen shooters in a game? I don't even know these existed in Age of Sigmar, man. <laughs> just goblins with little bows. <laughs> fives to hit and fives to wound. Well, they'll be, they'll be four. <laughs> they will be fours to hit, because they get plus one to hit when there's Oh, it's a big least, unit. When there's at least 15. Yeah, there's a unit of 20. Respect the Grotz. I respect. You respect you I attack. Respect. <laughs> Throw a run onto these Stabbas. So four, and then a little extra from their little musician. Their job is just to screen this objective, get those netters out front to minus one, whoever gets close to them. And these spiders will just scuttle forward, getting some of their bows in range. Fire into those dire wolves that are coming up. Oh, you just hang on right there, buddy. And their leader right behind them. Blah, 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 blah. The squig gob is getting ready because they're getting ready to puke out some little squigs. The trolls are going to stay back to protect the fungoid cave shaman. Oops, I forgot my little crap. The madcap shaman is just going to hop down. Nick it, nick it. Ten of these bows are in range of your grave guard. They see the arrows flying down. You I'm ready? I'm gonna all the defense. You got, you got so many command points. Yeah, so many. That Why not, right? Three. <laughs> okay, if that's where you want to use it, because I do have more shooting. Uh, yeah, I yeah, got that's this true. big guy gonna spit some squigs at you. I will absolutely And some those. bows from those. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Four is to hit, because I have at least 15 models. <laughs> Look at you wasting your all out defense. Five is it a waste? Yeah, fives to wound. Yep, it was. Uh, if you shoot them with anything else, they're still there. Uh, there's nothing else to shoot them with. Over here, we're gonna have eight shots coming from these spider riders firing at your dire wolves out front. So, hitting on fives. <laughs> oh my, what? what is going on? <laughs> well, the squig gob is gonna get him instead. So he pukes out some squigs at the dire wolves as well. So since there's at least 10 of them, he gets plus one to hit. So we're looking at threes to hit, and then threes to wound, no rend, D3 damage. Threes to hit. <laughs> what is going on with my dice? I think I need to get some more dice. Three's to wound. Wow, wow. one of them, no this rend. Dire wolves have a five up save. I don't know why they do. Boom, D3 to... damage. Only one. That does one damage. You're not in range to get deathless minions. Uh, no, they have to be wholly within 12 of a hero oh, or a grave site. site. You're not. So one of them dies. Oh, you wish. Well, they're two wounds each. Oh, I'm picking up the, the, the chaos version. Yeah, they're real bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not so great. Well, that's all I got. Now it's time for a charge. Squig hoppers will declare a charge. Here we go, eight inches. And they bound forward. No, my slavering charge rule. It's gone, no, void. <gasps> I can do that thing. Oh, you're gonna unleash hell? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, show, show off, uh, I, I, I don't play any armies that get to use that. <laughs> you're like, oh, there's a command ability. Oh my gosh, shooting oh, him. 
Yeah, it's true. Shooting my death armies. So your crossbowmen did not move. There's at least 10 of them, and there's no enemies within three, so they actually get to double their shots. Nice. So 20 crossbow shots. Hit Loose. On fives. <laughs> eh, not bad. That fives, there's a lot of fives there. Three's to wound, no rend though. We have five. five. Well, I've only got a six up save. Ooh, wow. Hey, nice. I did that really well. <laughs> One squeak hopper goes down. Into the combat phase. Is there anything that you can do in the combat phase? Uh, no. Okay. Um, oof. Do I bring your free guild general into this? Archibald, who Archibald. smiles? Yeah, you know what, I will, because Ooh. I want to get more of these initial attacks and kill some of your wolves. So, we'll bring him in. And then just get as many of these guys in as we can. All but one. I'm going to spend my last command point on all-out attack, because I do have a champion in there. Did you want to do any command abilities? Uh, no, I'm already down to two. I'm going to hold off. Okay. We'll start with the squigs themselves. They're fang-filled gobs. Now they're hitting on threes. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wounded on threes. Booyah. That was pretty good. These are all minus one one, so nine of them. Nine of them? So I have to do six first on their saves, because if I lose three of the dire oh, wolves... Six up. There we go. If once I lose these three direwolves, they're now in range of deathless minions, and they're gonna get a ward save from Nikolai. So six up ward. Uh, these armor or saving throw, and then ward. It didn't matter, but you know. <laughs> so you could have rolled them all together, and then just seen how. I guess were I could have. Yeah, yeah, that that would have also worked. Because you yeah. technically don't allocate wounds until all the saves are rolled. Yeah. And so then you would just remove those three, and then start rolling ward saves. That's true. I'll remember that. Okay, now I got the guys on top. One attack each because of all that attack hitting on fours. And that also means I don't have to worry about rolling my leader separate with this plus one to hit. Ooh. Five wound. One wound. No oh, rend. Five up save. Six up. Ward. Ward. That's a wound. That's a wound. Archibald will activate next, and he is not one to shy away from a fight, so he's going to use that to go there. And then he's going to swing his uh, Zweihander. All right, with the Zweihander. This hits on threes. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Poor showing for his first swing of the campaign. He's, oh, no. He's warming up. He's warming up. He's warming up. He's done. All right, your doggies can hit now. Oh, yes. Uh, we are going to... You should to... be able to get them all in, because you can move around. I do have to keep coherency, though. So we're going to go... You'll go over there. That's true. There is more than six. Yes, unfortunately, there is. And they are it. rather wide. So, like, right there, he's not within... Exactly. So two guys. this guy's going to have to stay back here and keep that coherency okay, going. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got four of them four. attacking. One is forced to hit. Oh! Ooh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey. oh. okay. Oh. All right. Battle oh. shock. Well, I'm Bravery 4. Do you have any negative bravery buffs to me right now? Mm. These guys are dead walkers. So they're zombies. They reduce yours. By they have the zombie equivalent keyword. They so reduce minus one? Exactly. And yeah. there's not enough to make it minus two? Uh, these guys might be within six. And they're death rattle. So you get one for each type you're near up to two. So yeah, they are within six. My bad. Yeah. So boom. It's up to minus two. So my bravery two. is two now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's four normally. All right. There's the cross. What do you think? Your bravery's high? Yeah. What are they, bone reapers? I don't even care. I'm 10 and I mean a battle shock. Booyah, I roll a three. And that means I lose two more. But that's only because of your bravery debuff, by the way. So they run away because they're afraid of your... Uh... And they're not near enough my Legion of Blood Vampire for more to run, so... No, that's right. If you're within yeah. three inches, I'd lose D3 more. Additional D3 guys leave. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about your... I, don't, I think your wolves are going to be fine, but you lost four of them and you're... Bravery 10, though, right? Correct. Okay, so you can't okay, fail, because yeah. I don't have any bravery debuffs going on right now. Right. And that's really it, though, because my shooting sucked pretty bad. So that is my turn. We don't score any points yet, because it's the end of the battle round. Um, Gain your command point. I get one, too. I'm at three. Matthew's at one now. I am going to go right to heroic action. I think I still want leadership, because I do have a plan for all four of those command points. And no. I know that, that's more of a... I can't think of the word... Uh, just I'm, in case. I didn't need four, but it would have been nice have been to have nice. four. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to have this squig once again try heroic leadership. Oh, okay, yeah, no heroic leadership in the dead swamps. No. Or the dark. Archibald screams out for the company to hold the line. That'll affect himself and these, uh, the handgunners and the crossbowmen, holy within 18. Uh, they'll get plus one to hit and wound as long as until my next hero phase if they don't move. Right. Which I don't really have. Which well, it works in your turn, in my turn as well. So if they right, move yeah. forward, then on my turn they would Correct. get a plus one hit. It's win. a it's a nice way for that to work there. Uh, also, uh, I think I probably have to do the invocation at the start of the turn. Uh, Nikolai will do the invocation. The only unit I can target in range are the dogs. The only unit hurt, and they just heal. Just heal because you have one that's hurt, so you don't have to bring any back. Yefek the Reaper will attempt to cast the Horror Ghast. That's the endless spell. Oh, we got it. We I can't stop that. Big numbers. Ooh. 
the end of the spell rises, spooking the nearby grots. Oh, so units wholly within 12 inches of that in the battle shock phase cannot receive commands, so they can't get um, inspiring presence. And that will affect both of ours. Yeah. Yes, and also if a unit, if somebody runs or flees, they lose D three more. Nikolai will summon a spirit gale. We're going to use that on the. Well, you don't have to declare it yeah. until you actually make Ooh. it. Oh, never mind. We're going to do two spirit gales. No, not necessarily. I'm going to unbind, and he's going to do it because he can re-roll. Ooh. Booyah! Nope. All right. Booyah! Oh! oh! Just, just got it. Just Shut down, baby. You know what that does? It's 2d6 against your bravery, mortal wounds equal to the difference. Oh, my bravery is like <laughs> two right now? Yeah, then it, I could have ta targeted them with the second one too. Oh. All right, all right, I'll just hit them twice maybe. Yes. By my souls. Yeah. I've well, uh, Nikolai is going to tell Archibald to hold the line over here, and he's going to move forward with his grave guard. A head march. And a forward, they go. He's getting ready to take care of some squigs. Oh yeah, these guys only move forward though. Uh, you know what? They don't really need to move that much further. That's true. Don't they have a minimum six inch charge? Yeah, they still get their old musician rules. The newer kits lost musicians, but the graveyard kept it. Nice. That's all going to stay still. We are going to move to the Deadwalker zombies and Yethek the Reaper. They're going to go ahead and declare a run, but they're going to use at the double. To automatically run six? Automatically go six. Yeah, because they can fight once they're within six inches of an enemy. Right. I don't know. All right. The zombies, I would like to say meander forward, but... This is actually quite quick. Yeah, so they shamble quite this quickly is a forward. 10-inch move for them. All right, we did. It. We just moved 40 miles. That's great. All right, we got the zombies all tucked up in here. What about what about Yethic? Oh, uh, we actually wanted to make room for Yethic. We're gonna daisy chain these guys back here. We've been keeping them all, you know, cool here. And this spot, I wanted open for Yethic. That there was, you go. That zombie will go over there. Roll a nice little run for him. Yeah, that's a drop down. Yethic's gonna go ahead and run oh, two. It's two. Oh, jeez. Slow well, down, he's guy. gonna go six or seven inches. I'm gonna move him six and then double check to see if he can move seven. Oh, I'm sure he's base five. He does move five, so he goes up an extra inch there. We're gonna go with a corpse cart. Uh, it's driven by zombies, so guess what its move is? It's gonna run up to nine. I think it'd be slower because you know it's pulling something. But I guess there's a lot of them, so they help. The dire wolves and the doom wolf are all going to surge forward. We're gonna stay outside of three because, well, the rules of the game say we must. So we're gonna go to here. Taking up that position, the pistoliers are gonna ride up behind them with their pistols armed and ready to go. And you know, their extra ones all holstered. And they're gonna crack some shots into Gitz. And we're, then we're gonna start with the pistol. We're gonna go to the shooting phase. The pistolier is gonna open up with their brace of pistols. I even I chose for the champion to have one as well, just so it's all basic now. They're all different weapon. What's he gonna fire at the the stabbers? Yeah, the unit right in front. All right, here's their brace of pistols on fours to hit. Ooh. Yeah, there should be no negatives. That's all right. Three's to wound the ren though. Two of them. One ren. Crack crack. Well, with all my shields and my banner, I have a four up save against shooting, so it becomes a five up. Oh, look at that! Oh, wow. Nice the boot. bad moon protects. Ooh. And then we're going to progress over to here. Actually, no, we are going to do the cross. Ooh, I got to make sure I'm not within three here, or else I might not do the crossbowman. We're going to do the handgunners first. So you want the crossbowman not to be. You are within three inches. So. Yeah, so we'll see if we get lucky. And the, the handgunners are going to turn to the right and let loose a volley. <laughs> it's a and general just stands there and he's like, yeah, this is, this is good. This is not more at this. <laughs> Uh, except for the man with the Hawkland long rifle is going to fire at the loon boss. And that ignores Lookouts. He does ignore Lookouts. I'll just crack his shot off first. He's a specialist at doing this. And the, uh, I can't see that. That's a five. That's a hit. And Two's it, to wound because of the plus one to wound. It does wound. Minus one, two damage. Oh, I oh, see. Okay. Nine yeah. shots to the squig hoppers. These are hitting on threes because of the plus one. You actually have a plus two to hit, but... Yeah, I can only ever get plus one. And then twos to wound. I guess I could have moved them. Not that I needed to. No, because if you move them, you oh, I lose both. All of it. <laughs> I lose so all of it. You're right. They're all required new standstill. Right. So that's six wounds. I don't get saves against those. Obviously, I'm going to keep your crosswoman yeah, locked in. That so makes sense. three of them die. All the crosswomen must fire at the. Uh, now they still get the plus one hit and wound because they didn't move. They, they just don't get the extra attack. They don't get enemies with them. Three. Yeah, twenty shots. Yeah. They only get ten instead. Right, all the ten crossbows. I forgot the marksman last time I did the unleash hell, but it shouldn't matter. Ooh, these hit on. Threes. Yeah, plus one to hit, right? So we have two misses. Yeah, they hit on fours normally. And then they wound on twos. So they hit their mark and hard. Six of them. So a six up save. Ooh. Oh, that oh, was wow. a six. I didn't see that. The table <laughs> helped. It betrayed me. So three more die. Ooh. That's all but one of them. They keep you locked in there. Yeah, might as well. 
We did forget at the end of the hero phase for you to move the endless spell. Yeah. It was eight inches. It doesn't do anything in the hero phase, but it allows you to yeah, implant yeah. it deeper there. It just wants to go right now there. Now remember, anybody holding within 12 inches of here doesn't take yeah. battle shock. So. I can't do nothing about that, but I can get those squigs in front of me. That's right, because oh. they're going to still be alive after this charge. They might be. They might nah, be. maybe. Charge clock! Oh, uh, yeah, we are going to go with that. We'll go just with... Remember, I have Unleash Hell. Nikolai. Ooh. All the more reason to go with Nikolai. All right, Nikolai. In he goes. What again? Eight? What yeah, where are you going to go? I'm going to come after my... Oh, you're going to stay there. Okay. You're going to stay right there. They're going to come after him or something. Would you like to Unleash Hell against him? Of course. Nice. Here we go. 20 bows. That's like your one. Wait, wait. I changed my mind. <laughs> I, I, got, I have plus one to hit because I'm at least 15. Minus one because of the... Uh, on the shell, but I forgot you have lookout, sir. <laughs> barely. <laughs> He's barely, so I'm not going to do it against him because I'll, oh, okay. I'll be back to sixes to hit again. All right, that's fair. I'll wait for the other skeletons. Graveguard! Oh, yeah, now I don't charge with them. Uh, now they're going to Well, win. you could. You could 11! Just, you could just leave them in there by themselves. See how boss he really is, right? No. So now I'll unleash hell on them. It'll be fives to hit them because minus one plus one. No, it was not that good. Only five. Fives to wound! One wound! A five up save. Which, that's a three. And a ward. No. I <laughs> kill one, yeah. This guy gets hit on the way in. We are then going to charge with the dire wolves on the other side of the table. And they're going to roll it. 11. Wow. 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 In they go. That's only going to be four. And plus one to hit and wound, or right? Three. Oh, I guess I can go up. Yeah, you can go up over there. But just remember to keep coherence if I get yeah. somebody else over there. He's oh, not yeah. going to fit it. No, you can fit him right in this little plateau. You do bring the spider riders in if you do that. But you know, it's not like they can do much. Oh, I'm having a hard time. There we go. So, beginning of the combat phase, where do you want to fight first? Well, I don't need to fight with those wolves. I I might be surprised. They get pluses to wound when they have enough models. Wow. I got like 10 wounds to loot, 9 wounds to loot okay. before okay. I lose attacks. All right, all right, all right. We'll go with the Graveguard first. I have a command ability I should use, so I will. I'll go with... Nikolai using the uh, Blood Feast or Spirit Feast? Crimson Com Feast. Crimson Feast. Plus one attack. Plus one attack on Graveguard. Yeah. Well, you got a crap ton of attacks. Absolutely. Threes to hit. No rerolls. Fours to wound. Sixes do mortal wounds in addition. Uh, I think you're going to probably have killed everything anyway, so it's five, six, seven, eight. That's 16 damage, 17, 18, 19. Okay, you didn't kill everything. That's nine and a half of them dead. So let's go five, six... Seven, eight, nine. All right, they're gonna run, but you know, whatever. Well, I am gonna choose to go with the Stabas next. <laughs> and they're gonna surprise you with their their killiness as they go in there and stab you, and they backstab you. Here's the regular Stabas hitting on fours, and then this is the leader hitting on threes. And then we will wound on threes because there's at least 15 models still. Ooh. That is six wounds. And then we got the Nettas. That'll be fours and fours. Six. So nine wounds in total. Five plus. Six. Oh, jeez. Look at you go. And they're empowered by the gravesite. Ward. Nope. No, no, nope. No, no. Nope. So two of them die. So that's and one. One, injured. two, don't three. Lose, don't lose your coherency. Should be all right, okay. all right. That was something. That was something. And then we're going to Archibald, who's going to pile in there and take a swing at that boing rot bounder with his Vihander. Three. Hey, we got mortal wound. Hey! And... Hey, two. At Renda, uh, two. Yeah, he's it. Oh, good job, Archibald. Yeah, six up save, man. Well, then these th three squigs are going to jump and attack your vampire lord. Oof, I got no command points. So six attacks. I was like... Ah, 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 ah. Four is to hit. Oh, oh my! Oh, no. How many wounds does your vampire lord have? I believe he's six. All right, I'm gonna one shot him right here. That's three, yes. three, three's to wound. Oh no, just three wounds. Minus one though. The so four up save it goes to a four. <gasps> nice. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Hey, we don't ward. I, I, I remember he's got the ring of dominion. I'm like, oh, I get to use that. Cool. That's why I got excited. Oh right. Yeah, it's fine. I, I take like, a wound. I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah. You take a wound. I you take a wound. Down to five. So I'm, 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 we're already over here. We might as well go with. With, um... They could Ring of Dominion them, they'll lie. do one mortal wound. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you, get, you, you do it every time he goes to fight. It's every turn, which is nice. So as long, the longer he's in combat, the more it'll work! Oh, it, oh, does. it does! Boom, he controls the bite of a squiggly! Noms <laughs> <Nums> himself. <laughs> he he bites his tongue. He bite, yeah, he bites his own tongue. <laughs> it's whatever your weapon damage is. It's one. Oh, okay. they take one whole mortal wound then. Yeah. And then he, and he'll swing with his spirit blade on Shot threes. Ooh. Oh, everything hits, very nice. Wounding on? 
two, uh, those, uh, Ren 1. No save then. How much damage? I believe they're D3 each. I'll roll and go double check. So four damage in total. So he kills two of them, which means he gets to heal at the end, so he might as well just... Might as well. So he'll heal up the six from the hungry, uh, yeah. the, 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 the squig blood. Yeah, because the squig's going to run and hurt them when he runs. Oh, yeah, they run. They boogie woogie. On a four plus those moral wound. So, but we're, we're not done yet. We got some doggies. Doggos. Chewing on some stabbers. Arr, arr, arr. No. Arr, 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 arr. Nine attacks because of the Doom Wolf. Is there any negatives? Yes, you got netters out front, so minus one. Minus one to hit? Alright, so they get plus one to hit on the charge. You don't ignore that, right? Because you don't have a no, it's only Vampire Lord. Yeah, and it's only Death Rattle as well. Oh, okay. And, but the plus one to wound still holds. Four wounding so hits. four wounds. No rend? No rend. So five up save because of my shields. I don't know why they have a five up save, but they do. Oh, oh it, it didn't, didn't matter. matter. Four of them die. Well, they pile forward to take the place of the ones that you kill in the front. And there was even a netter that died, and then somebody picked it up. <laughs> Battle shock. Oh, unless, no, are they within six? Did if, you want to? If I was within six, I don't want to pile in anyways. No, not yet. It's more of a defensive position for them. Okay, so he'll automatically run, but when squigs run, like regular squigs on the ground, on a four plus, they do a mortal wound to the nearest other unit. So mortal wound to the grave guard. Ward save. Ward. Close. Nope. So he he just like chomps through on him <laughs> as he runs away Ooh. off into the woods. Stab his bravery is four down to three near your guys. They lost four of their own buddies, so they're gonna lose six more. Of Whoa! Them. <laughs> you don't have anything that makes me lose more because I'm not close to that. Only near the vampire, no. or the near the endless yeah. spell. So hold on, how many was I supposed to lose? Five, six more. Right. So let's keep our coherency. So we'll pull from over there. Yep. Well, I got. At the end of the battle round. We've got to check who controls objectives. Uh, that one I'm actually not sure of, so... Yeah, this one I messed up on because I had forgotten it was an objective. I got a little too bloodthirsty. Yeah, because we're both counting as two models, but Correct. do you have any of the Graveguard within six inches of the, where my finger is? Looking at it, probably yes. not. So I, the, the worst part was... You could have. I could have. No, they're not, they're not quite in range. They're off okay. by a little bit. That's and over all... here, that one I don't know. Uh, so let's these check are only it. worth one point each. Yeah. So I control all three of the objectives. So I get D6 victory points for this one, or we'll call it ritual points. Right. And then I get D3 for each of the other ones. And remember, in order for you to win, you got to keep it below... 14 at the end of the... We got five turns to get there, though. So this mistake is probably not going to be that bad. Well, and you can also yeah. lower it. Remember, you, true, yeah. you lower mine by D3 for every objective you hold, including this one. You don't yeah. lower it by D6 with this one. You lower it by D3. I got to grind my way to that one. Right. So that one, the longer I hold it, the harder it is for you to win. But I still have to basically win by at least 14. Right, yeah. So here we go. Let's hope I roll high. Big one. D6. D6. Oh, it's a one. Ah. And the 2D3. Oh. <laughs> All right, weak ritual, you're throwing off a little bit. I'm trying, all right? I'm trying. Does my bad moon move at the beginning of the next battle round? Yes. So it's going to move to the center right here. So it's going to end. It doesn't really matter where it ends. It's this quarter of the table that is affected by the bad moon. So that, that gives a bunch of different effects. It can do mortal wounds to you. Helps my wizards. These guys regenerate better. These guys reroll ones to hit. Right. Squigs can run and charge. Spider's venom activates on a five instead of a six. So on and so forth. A whole bunch of wild rules. It's basically different rules for each type of thing that I have. Right. And then my general gets an extra command point, that kind of stuff. So that'll also be kind of fun. Yeah. Roll off. Priority, Priority roll. roll. Oh. What, do you, what do you get? Three. Three. And I win ties because you made me go first. Five. That's five. No double turn for you, good sir. Oh, well. Command point wise, with the generals and my bad moon and your outpost, you've got four, I've got three. Yep. Now for heroic leadership. <laughs> yeah, right? You might as well, right? Yeah. I am trying to think of what I want to do for heroic leadership. Is it finest hour for the scuttle boss? Is or it his finest hour? Or his finest hour? It might actually be not bad for him. You know what? Finest hour. Ooh. He's going in for the kill. Uh, what about you? Part of me wants to do leadership, so I will. I'm gonna, I was debating on finest hour, but it's not yet. Nope. Dang it. Nobody right. wants the extra command points, no, apparently. It's the swamp. <laughs> We're gonna try to dispel your endless spell. With Good my luck little, with my little uh, little guy. All right, hey, you. see you later, alligator. Oosh. Woo! And now we're gonna try to summon that big mushroom again. It's oh. a six to cast. Uh, <sighs> I'll keep the seven. We'll try and give her that needing an eight. That's a seven. No, you don't. All right. Ooh. It has a range of six d six. Yeah. Very random. Whoa. Ooh, that's a pretty good roll. Yeah, so it's 10, 20, 24 inches. And the mighty mushroom of Mork rises up out of the ground, spewing forth its spores of deadliness. What a horrible spot to grow. I actually forget, at the start of my hero phase, the Fungi K-Shaman gets me an extra command point on a 4+. plus. Nope. 
All right, it's his finest hour. He's going after your vampire lord. Ooh. I don't even need to move. He's. I'm basically going to just. He's 2d6 inch. Oh, there we go. That's right, they have random move. <laughs> oh, I got to check to see if. Are any of your units within the bad moon? The answer is no. You're not in my quarter. The, my quarter basically just comes right <laughs> yeah. here. Of course. So I'm going to just declare a run. He ran. Because he can run and charge. Because he's in the moon. And we're going to use that. Oh, smart. Yeah, smart. These uh, shooters are going to move over to get a couple onto the objective at least. Right. We're not going to make it easy for you to take it back. Even though I got like crap. I know. <laughs> crap for my ritual points. Three out of a potential 12. I know 12 isn't likely, but come on, man. Something a little better than that. My trolls will go forward. We'll, we're going to give them options of where they're going to go next. So they're going to come to here. Oh, no. This is kind of And as you're, they're looking forward, the pistoliers are firing forward at the grots. All of a sudden, they don't even hear it. There are little strands of magic open here. and Why is it going to be like that? And he just lands in the back. They don't even notice it. I know, it's the worst part! Yeah, I know, it's Steven Swamp! <laughs> Start of the sheet phase, the spores go out. So we're gonna hit, we, I've positioned it so it hits a lot. So it's gonna hit all eight of those Grave Guard. So we roll eight dice, every five up is a mortal wound. Oh, just oh, one, one mortal wound. Ward! Lucky duck. Nope. So one of them dies. Because it spawns mushrooms. The Vampire Lord in a five plus. Nope, he's fine. The Hand Gunner's in the back, ten of them. Oh, is that five half? of them. Five Ooh. of them just like they sprout mushrooms. No, they sprout mushrooms all over their skin. It just tears through oh, everything. Oh, that is most unfortunate. And they start puking all over the ground. A horrible death. I'll keep these here for battle. If you ever want to know just how horrible it is, read the book Gloom Spite. It's bad. It is scary bad. Oh, that's what they're paying. Like six direwolves are within range as well. Ooh, three mortal wounds. That kills one and a half of them. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe. Uh, I don't think there's anything nearby them. There's a grave site there, right? Did not get them? Uh, Gravesite's too far away too. Well, it kills the one. How many wounds was it? Sorry? It's three. So you could kill the one that's far away and then ward and save the other one. Right? Uh, no, that guy's still... That guy's taking a wound. Okay. He's not wholly within. Two of the crossbowmen. Oh, oh! One of them sprouts mushrooms and starts puking and dies. It seems fitting that the one nearby would actually... Sure. Die. And the free guild general there on a five plus. Archibald! <laughs> Archibald! No, he's fine. Ah, he's made of stern stuff. Oh, that thing was scary. You better dispel that. Then we're gonna start shooting. We're gonna start throwing rocks. I gotta roll three or less because that's how many trolls are there. I do. Oh, nice. So I just pick a unit within 12 inches. They take D3 mortal wounds. So we are really gonna work on these grave guard. D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds, which Ooh. they have their we do have a ward save. And oh, oh look at oh, that! Ho, ho, ho. They just stand up. They're like, whatever. It's <laughs> rocks. And then we're gonna <laughs> shoot everything into them as well. You gonna all out defense? Absolutely. I'm only fives and fives, man. <laughs> oh no, that's not true. Fours and fives. I have value in these graveyard. Okay. Fours to hit with the bows. Is it fours? Fuck. Well, because it's plus one to oh, hit. Oh, yeah. Because there's at least 15 of them. Nice. And five. Oh, sorry. It's supposed to re-roll ones there, but no. I wasn't paying attention. One wound. What? After all of that. That's why. All out defense. Absolutely. We make it because hey, of the all out defense. Yeah. We're going to spit forward. Oh, we've got less than 10 guys there now. I do. I have more than 10 zombies. I know, but <laughs> zombies. Like, who cares, right? Oh, we're going All right, I'll head. spit at the zombies. Yeah, otherwise, I'm just going to roll a bunch of threes at something else and be like, oh. Threes to hit. No, no threes. All right. Not necessary. Threes to wound. You don't have a save on zombies, right? Uh, no, they do not. How did I... So, two of wounds, which... Ward! Oh my goodness. They don't have a banner, so one dies. <laughs> and then we've got uh, ten shots from them. They have to go into the dire wolves because we're in combat with them. Fives to hit. Mm, boy, we've got three hits. <laughs> we love clues by kid shooting. Yeah. One wound. One whole wound? Yeah. Five. Yeah. We got a grave site nearby. Nope. Yeah, that's no, it finishes off one of them. Oh, that's a that's Take a... that, little zombie. Arr, 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 arr. Charging. Finest hour. Booyah. Nah. 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 Well, good enough. <laughs> and the rock gut Trogoth. Eight inches. We're going to have them take out the grave guard. Oof. Boom. Oof. Right in there. Although, if we can keep away from the mushroom, that would be good too. Well, whatever. Scuttleboss feels very alone where he is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll come back to that. The super quiet, enormous spider as it slithers out. Well, not slithers out. If you've ever seen Lord of the Rings, you know just how terrifying that is. It was like, it was like a trapdoor spider, right? That's the idea here? Yeah. Oh, gross. No. No. Maybe we can't re-roll his own. No. 
I want to attack with my Loon Boss and Giant Cave Squig first, but I think the Rocket Trogoths just want to cut down these Grave Guard before anything bad happens. So you're going to all out defense? Yeah. All right. Might be a mistake. I've only got six attacks. I'm still going to do it. Uh, is that or the Vampire? Say that, Nikolai. I'll do it on the Grave Guard. Okay. Threes Ooh. and threes, minus two, Ooh. flat three damage. Threes to hit. Oh, Ooh. boo. Threes to wound? No! Ah, I burnt my command point. Wow, wow, that's really what I wanted. My goodness. Okay, you get to choose now. I'll go with Nikolai. Okay, I've got the plus one save already on me. I think I just want to pile in <laughs> that. Get way. away from the trolls. Dancing around there. I think that's my best bet. Uh, I want five plus. You can get me to bot myself in the face or, or D three damage. I, I'll, D3 stay with, wounds. I'll stay within three of them. Yeah, I, I am gonna use the Ring of Dominion. Try to get. Oh, the, it oh, works again. The squig. The squig <laughs> bites his master for D three mortal wounds. One, One mortal wound. All right. Well, even before he attack, he's already down to five wounds. Thank you, Squig. These are the blades on threes. Ooh. Oh, we have a six. That's two hits because of my command trait. Oh, that's Pre right. Premeditated violence. We have three wounds. Oh. Out. I believe Ren one. Yeah, so I'm back to a four-up save. How much damage each? D3. Oh, boy. Ah! What? He's probably dead. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> what? That's so bad. Renown. Renown. You know what? I'm giving you a bonus... Um, we're gonna give you a bonus renown and two extra glory for killing a finest hour character. It just feels, it feels right. <laughs> that he's like, your finest hour, is, that is a, it? Is that a defection? And he, like, he, like, he like licks at the, the, the case wing, which just leaps up and attacks the guy on top. And then he just like goes and flip. Yeah, the vampire's like, oh, ring, stab up. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take those. Extra down and two extra glory. Is that like a de facto rune now if I kill a... No, that... no, no, because this was just this guy. Oh, okay. If it, the bigger the deal, I might rule uh, extra bonus right. stuff here and there. Is that the general by chance? No. Oh, dang. Okay. No. But it, cool it was list. finest. No, the general's going to be the... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because he's the guy running the ritual. Yeah. Well, let's see if my... Uh, <laughs> Slitters have any... Stabbers. They're all going to get in there because there's not very many of them left. So here's the regular Stabbers. We got... Uh, Fours to hit. <laughs> Three. What is going on? I have no idea. And then, uh, yeah, that's a wound. One wound on a dog. On a dog. Direwolf has a five up. Uh, there is a grave site right there. We so take takes a wound. that. And then we've got three nets now. So that's nine more attacks. Hitting on fours. Oh, that's pretty good actually. And wounding on fives. Nope. Oh, there. Man. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm gonna recycle my dice. Let's fight over here with the direwolves. We have nine attacks again. Into gets no, no longer charging. It's minus one. Five to hit. to hit though. Yeah, this is where it's gonna get tough. Not a yeah. Well, I got a couple. I got a spider here that can fight. He'll just come in. And he'll try to poison you. Yeah, something like that. Spider fangs hitting on fours, but sixes do mortal wounds. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna stab you with my spear. Fives to hit. I didn't. I guess you got your grave card now. Yeah, we're gonna do the command from Nikolai onto them for the extra attack. That would uh, that is called Crimson Feast. We I will all out defense from my fungoid. Ca Either of them are in range to issue the order. Do they not have a chance? The command. No. They do not. Oh. So they need a nearby leader to get it. So come on in. Absolutely. You bring it. You want to bring the shoes? No, or? actually, no. You don't want any extra little. That's gonna get you more guys on that too. There is that too. Yeah. There. We just hit with their great weapons. Yikes. That's a good roll. Yeah. That's an exception. Must nice. Must be yeah, nice. I, yep. <laughs> Fours to wound. And then mortal wounds on sixes. No Ooh. sixes. Okay, that was pretty bad, actually. So six up save against that rend one. Oh, I'm sorry, five up, because I all defensed. So four got through, which are two damage each, which rock, gut, trogos have a five up award. And so that's one and a half of them die. So one and a half of them will die. Well, more guys might run if you're near my vampire. Yep, yep, uh, yep. <laughs> so, Battle Shock. Why don't, uh, I'll do mine first. Bravery six on the Trugas. Uh, down to five, because you're you're near them. How many how many command points do I still have? Is that three correct, or should it be two? You should be at two, because all of defense. Oh, I'm going to inspire and presence them. My Horror Gas! No, it's gone! Yeah, your Horror Gas does not stop me, because it's gone. And you did. You actually didn't kill anything over here, so that's my only battle shock. Yeah, I do owe you a couple. The graveyard oh. are fine. Yeah, you got you got some poor guys in the back. The crossbowmen are fine, but these yeah. these ones lost five models. And, and they do have plus one bravery because of the being part of Legion of Blood. And oh, that's they, ten total. That's ten, and the bravery seven because of the banner. So three are going to turn tail and run. So they're normally bravery five up to six. Up to six, and then seven because of the bonus I gave them for being in this army. Correct. Yeah. So. How many more running, sorry? Uh, three. 
Oh, Oof. one, two, and we're gonna lose the banner at this point. <laughs> Who cares what the bravery? He's, he's actually gonna drop the banner and run. <laughs> and we'll see him later. <laughs> <laughs> he also didn't lose enough dogs for it to matter on either side. So that is the end of my turn. Absolutely. Uh, we're at uh, one command point extra each. I'm at three, Matthew's at two. I'm gonna do heroic leadership because I don't need to heal him because he don't nope. me fail again. Nope, no, you're Swap. no. Uh, I guess heroic leadership for me too. I'll do it on the fungoid cave shaman because he's in range of a lot of stuff. No, <laughs> we just don't want it. All right. All right, deathly invocations. We are gonna target the graveyard. We're gonna target the dire wolves because they're holy within 12 of Nikolai. And we're gonna use our cool new mechanic uh, to target the- The dead. The dead handgun. The, 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 the five that died to the, the, or grew mushrooms on them, they're gonna become zombies with mushrooms on them now. Mushroom zombies. Like from Last of Us. No. <laughs> Those could be D3 uh, Graveguard, so it'll be two Graveguard. It'll be this Heal guy one. healing, and then how many zombies stand up? Three. Oh, three. Cool. Cool. We get to see it. I'm so excited. <laughs> and the fun part is, the thugs in the back kick those zombies forward. They're not even afraid of them. They're used to this, actually. They're used to this. They're the Civil time. War. It happened all the time. So they grab the zombies and literally throw them forward. So they'll yeah. be the first to die, right? Yeah, typically. Yeah. And then two Graveguard come back. Oh, yeah. Now, when it comes to the mechanics of the game, for determining when things are permadead, essentially you roll a die for every model from a unit that was is was destroyed, or killed, or ran, and on a one it's permadead, and you got to spend glory points to try to bring them back. Um, in this case, those zombies still have to be rolled for. And, yeah. And I know that you're like, well, but now they're zombies, so how do they even keep going? It'll represent like more thugs joining. Like that he doesn't roll. Yeah. When he rolls ones, it shows a decreasing morale. But these grave guard don't have to roll now. So the undead, that the summonable ones that come back, they don't have to roll at the end of the game. Right. Unless they're killed again, of course. Um, whereas those ones still do. Because obviously you need fresh recruits. I'm actually going to go like this because I forgot I have dire wolves that can come charging in. So we're going to just reinforce over there. Okay. Should be happy. We're going to go ahead and cast Von Hell's Dance Macabre from Yethek the Reaper. Uh, we got it with a seven. I will try to stop it with my Fungoid Cave Shaman. I will re-roll that. Ah, that's smart. And it's oh, Okay. No well, dancing for you, zombies. Well, then we're going to go over to Nikolai, and he's going to Spirit Gale and try and rip the souls out of the grots or the trolls in front of him. We get it. Not the big version, though. The Madcap Shaman will try to unbind that. And he does. I want spells. No magic for you. No magic. We're going to go... Ah, maybe I should, because it did last time my next hero face. You know what? We're going to hold the ground on Archibald, but we are going to move everything forward. But it'll be more of a defensive one. The three units, then. Yep, we'll still target the three units. They get plus one to their hit and wound rolls. And uh, we're going to go down to two command points. We're going to progress the movement. Archibald is going to move right beside this horrible mushroom. Oh, you didn't dispel it. No, I decided, because I'm going to try and run past it. And, uh, it's in the shooting phase, though. It's in the... It, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not gonna—it's not gonna hurt me too much. I hope. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, last words. we are moving forward. You lost like eight of your handgunners to it, but whatever. Oh no! No, we're actually just gonna run this unit. Huah, an extra one! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! And we're, we're mixed units. I love it. We're playing uh, zombies move five, and the the regular humans can go move a little bit further if they no, want. No, the zombies to. move four, and the regular humans move. So I mean, I'm in five because I rolled a one. Yeah. Yeah. But, basically, the zombies get all their rules except for the, the six inch away they can chart, they can pile right. in, unless there's nothing but zombies. So that's kind of fun. And the dire wolves, we've already measured them. They're going to end up about here. Yeah, basically just outside of three. Oh, bark, bark. We'll go the doom wolf right there. Bark, bark. Super mushroom. Uh, Z brains. Zombies are going to move forward for. The way Cave Shaman is concerned, mildly. <laughs> oh, we did not get our Von okay. Hells off. That's where they end up shambling too. I know I could run them and then pile them in, but I just wanted to roll higher charge and get them further in that regard. Uh, we are gonna run Yethek the Reaper. An there extra you go. Three. Just tuck him around there. Yeah, he's gonna go three and then an extra five. Not perfect, but we're gonna go in this little nook over here. Nook. And then the corpse cart will just boom. And then the uh, the horses are starting to rear up. Something's real, dis really disturbing them. Uh, and then the and that's, when they, that's when they glance back. Like, oh, yep. Yeah. No, no, swamp stuff. <laughs> it's a big spider. Ah, oh, gosh. We are going to, I, I want to stay there and shoot into there because I can start wrestling control of this objective, but I'm just going to get charged by a spider and probably die. What's the move? Probably eight. Yeah. I'm going to guess eight. Yes, eight. So yeah, it's going to go You're there. not escaping it. Well, they could escape well, it. Well, your, your army's not escaping it. It's coming for you. It's coming for me, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Although if my dice rolls, who knows? Well, they're going to giddy up their horses and pull up their revolvers. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, no, no, no. I'm going to try and find a spot where most of them can get good line of sight, but we're just going to hang out over here. <laughs> we're not paid enough for that. In the shooting phase, this mighty, magnificent mushroom blah, spores <laughs> everywhere. Let's start with your nine grave card. Each five plus is a mortal wound. Three mortal oh. wounds. And Word save. No, nope. three, three of them. them sprout mushrooms. Oh, I get crack. to re reroll the one. Didn't matter. No. It cracks their their skeletons and rots them out enough that they can't stand up and they fall down. Into your handgunner slash zombies. One mortal wound. I'll put it on a zombie. Deathless. Nope. Deathless minion doesn't work. Ugh. And he sprouts even more of the mushrooms. Oh no! Falls it's just down. a pile of mushrooms. Five dire wolves. One mortal wound. Ward. Nope. Not warded. So they take a wound. It doesn't kill one. Your general, free, sorry, free guild general. Archibald, thank you. And your vampire lord. Yes, oh. he takes a mortal wound. He does. Yeah, so mushrooms push through his ornate armor. He's not very happy about that. No. It hits both of the rock gut trogos as well. One mortal wound, which they have a five up award against. Yeah, they don't oh, care. Very nice. They're already covered in mushrooms. What do they care? All right, across. Can shoot. They're relatively safe here. They're going to let loose a volley into the... Ooh, we're going to say trolls. Okay. What kind of save did that have? A four up? Five up and then a five up ward. Yeah, we'll see if we can plink off a couple wounds. They all get plus one to hit wound because of stay hold the ground. So they hit on threes and then trolls. Twos! That is four. four. Five up. Ooh, I made two of those. Five up ward. You killed oh, one! Oh, we do skewer <laughs> one. <laughs> Boom! Troll goes down. And we're going to come over to the Pistoliers because the handgunners ran. Only four of them have line of sight and range uh, to fire into the gits, so we will. Four is to hit. Ooh, Not bad. That's solid. And three is to wound. Ah, uh, two at run one. Um, so they don't have enough shields anymore to get a save from that, but the banner still gives them a plus one. So they're back to a six up save. So Ooh. two of them die from that. You know, I'm going to kill from over here so more of my spiders can start to get it. Charge phase. We're going to go with the dire wolves declaring a charge. They go, oh, they Oh, failed. no, they failed. Ooh. Want to reroll it? Two? Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 re we'll attempt that. Three. Three? That's in. <laughs> no, I'm going to not move them. You don't like that? I don't want them to go into the troll. I want them to go into the gits there, but this is fine, too. Okay. Archibald's going to clear a charge. He didn't run. He goes six. That's not good enough. I was going to... Yeah, he had to like, really get through yeah. there with his tiny little base. And then that should be it over here for charges. The zombies will declare a charge now. Ugh. Ten. Ten? There you go. Oh, yeah. That's better than any run could have done. Zombies swarm around my scuttle boss. And I run into fungoid cave shaman. Food all around. Yes. Ooh. Combat phase. Where do you want to fight first? Well, that's that's a heck of a question <laughs> there. Uh, we are... You got a troll that could do a lot of damage, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, nothing else realistically. I don't. I have no idea what those two characters are going to do. I don't think Scuttle gonna... boss has some damage potential, but not a, like 40 zombies. He's going to like... Maybe right. Pick a few of them off. Forty zombies. It shouldn't matter. I don't think I went too far away, so they should be good on the ward. That is. Oh, geez, I didn't look over here though. No. Does that go past that scaffolding? No, you're good. You're All good. Right, cool. And uh, uh, the troll's the biggest threat. We're gonna go for the troll. Are you going to command point? Give him an extra attack. Yes, because we're gonna. And you're gonna bring in those shooters this time. Yeah, we're gonna put one of them attacking the shooter. That one guy with the banner, and then. Is there everything else in the troll? Yeah, everything else in the troll. Hope to take it down. 16 because of the Seneschal on, on the troll. Three. Three to hit. Four is to wound. Sixes are extra mortal wounds. Still no sixes. Seven of these. Um, six up save. Oh. And then two damage apiece, right? Yeah. Probably dead. Five up ward. Well, he's got two wounds left. Oh, he's alive! Oh, one wound. One wound left. Wild. All right. You got greedy and spread out your attacks. Or did I just yeah. give an opportunity for Nikolai to pile in there and go and get him? That's true, and get the extra renown, right? Then the two attacks, or three attacks into the shooters. We have two hits, and okay. Two Four, wounds two, and mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds and two. So six of them die. <laughs> yeah, I'm all within 12 inches of the thing, so I'm not worried How about. How he <laughs> He's the champ. He's the real champion. He's a banner bearer. He's going to hand the banner over to the champion <laughs> be like, I am the champion This now. is yours now? <laughs> yeah. Well, my troll is going to do his best. Yeah, I got no command points. Well, here's the fun part. I know. I... Boom. Oh, He's... perfect. It's coming for your vampire lord. Oh, perfect. I, I don't care gonna... that I'm bringing them in. Oh. I'm going to kill that vampire lord. He's only got two wounds left. He's got four. Four wounds left. <laughs> He's got four wounds. <laughs> All at attack. 
Bring it on. Bring it on. You gonna do anything? Oh. I can't. I got no command points. Oh, you're at a command yeah. point. I, I, I fully expected this to happen if I didn't kill the troll. Two's to hit. Oh, come on! Oof. I can't even kill him now. Oh, you're all out attacking. Yes. Yes. Three's to wound. Yeah, I wounded you at least. Minus two, three damage. Well, that's going to be a five of safe. And three damage? I only yes. got two dice here. So I take all, all three. Of you're so down to one wound. One. Ah! Oh, how did I miss? It's <laughs> freaking two's to hit. All right. When I come over here to the dogs, we got still four of them attacking <laughs> for nine attacks. Oh, right. nets. I throw my net so you hit me on fives. Ooh, Ooh decent hit. Bad. Fours. Three. No rend though, right? No rend. So I don't have my shields anymore, so just six up. So three more oh, to die. Got him. I'm actually gonna pull these three. If I get to fight the second wave now. Yeah. My scuttle boss will go next. Chop up some zombies. I'll start with his cutter. Fours to hit. Oh yeah. Oh. Fours to wound. Three wounds, minus one. So just hold Zombie. on to that. Yeah, zombies. And the spider's fangs, fours to hit. Okay, Ooh, these so are all just... negative one to wound as well. I know I missed the first one. All right, but... well, this one, all I did is the mortal wound. Oh, okay, that's fine then. So it's four in total. Four three in total. total. So that's only two. You need four in total. That's three. There we go. There we got there. I'm just thinking <laughs> about, I, I keep forgetting about his rules, so I keep, I'm trying to like, oh, how do I get myself to remember? So I have three die. Three of them die. Blah. 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 Oh, it's Nikolai's turn to, I kind of want to go with the dogs. Three so they can get in. Nah, we're not gonna bother. You want Nikolai to kill the troll though. He's the only yeah. one that gets bonus renown yeah. for killing stuff. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and attack the troll, but first he's gonna aim the ring of dominion at the troll to get it. Does out. it work three times in a row? Not quite. Oh, not quite. It needs to recharge. We have uh, to hit. that's four hits because of the six on the command trait. And two wounds are in one. Six up save. Okay, Ooh, D3 okay. damage each. More likely to kill him? Four. four. Five plus ward. I got one wound left. Oh, you got him. By himself, he would have got him. Hey, look, yeah, he's a hero. All right, go take that renown. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, is he ready to be embarrassed? The shooters are going to come forward. Are you going to go out of your immune to battle shock aura? You betcha. Oh, my. I've lost the game. <laughs> right at this point, as a GM, my job is to make this as interesting as possible, so I'm going to make you pay for it. You're going to stress me out? <laughs> yeah. Every model that goes down is a possible model that is out of your army for good unless you pay the points. Yeah, no, I know like if we bring them forward, it brings your dire wolves in, but like let's just admit I've I've lost this game. <laughs> I would normally have conceded by now. Yeah, I, I don't understand but... either. It's not like my army's overly good or your army. It's just you rolled so far. Oh, it was, it was so, so bad. bad. Because so those bad. trolls could have done it. There's so many times I could have done better. All right, but really what matters is these two shooters. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna stab you. Stab, stab! I got I got my slitter. <laughs> fives and fives, because you I've done a 14 models. Good old graveyard. Yeah. You ready? Oh, absolutely. Uh, not really, but okay. Here we go. Oh, we got one. You've only got one wound left. Five's the wound. If you die to this guy, I'm taking away one of your renown and glory. <laughs> it's called embarrassing death. Ign ignominious? Is that what it is? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, the odds of me dying are so much higher now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three up save. Oh, no. Six up ward. <laughs> That was way more stressful than it should have been. Cool. First five. Oh, okay. Well, second six. Uh, one. Man. Even if I oh, greatest hour or all out defense. That would have mattered. It didn't matter. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I got the rest of them to attack your graveguard. All right, so seven more of them into your graveguard. Hitting on fives. Wow, these guys. Why am I not fighting with these guys all the time? <laughs> right? Fives to wound. Two wounds. Two no wounds. rend. Five ups on them. Okay. Jeez. Two ward saves. Hit this guy. Like the standard bear. He's a hero. Oh, he, okay. He right. oh, I still lose the guy, though. Uh, Needs to be the guy in the end. Actually, no. You're, no, I'm, you're we down to five. Yeah, so. we're down to five now. You're good. Boom. And now you're millions of zombies? I can't afford to pile in and get extra attacks because I'm already at my holy within 12 kind of limit. So even though they have a great Well, he's in, here limited to him anyways with these two walls to the, or his backs to the wall. Fives to hit with the zombies. Oh, we have the uh, kind of dragged down and torn apart rule, I think it's called, or some zombie attack rule. It's called the... So three mortal wounds. The attack sequence ends, though. It does, yeah. And then one, one savable wound. Well, we'll try to save that wound. We do not. So, so that's four, four in total, which he has a four up ward. He sees the future or something. Three. Oh, nice. He almost killed him with that. He's down to one wound. Oh, now I you get, get to attack the scuttle boss. There should be lots. Attack the spoiler boss. Fives to hit him. I'll just reroll oh, the drop die on the ground. So we have one mortal wound and four hits, which wound once. Saving throw. Yeah, he failed that and took a mortal wounds. So he's down to four. My spider riders here will pile in. And we'll get two of them fighting this time. 
fighters themselves. One hit with a wound, and then the guy's on top. Nothing. All five. right. No five way. up with a ward. Oh, Ooh, it nice. doesn't kill him. And then over here, you got your dire wolves to help out. Yes, you've been so kind to bring them in. <laughs> I, you know what? <laughs> it was almost worth it. Oh. Or even, you know what, for that drama, I'm just going to say it was worth it. It wasn't worth it to me. There we go. You can still bring that guy around and keep him in coherency. What guy? Can he, I don't even know. Is that three, probably? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't really paying attention. I, I lied. Oh, no, because if I lose this guy now, I break my coherency. That's why I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going next, so you've already... I suppose. Whatever, man. I suppose. I got three dogs attacking. They didn't charge. The Doom Wolf is there. We hit on that one six, and uh, we yeah. See, that's there. why I brought him in. Who cares? Oh gosh. Fungoid Cave Shaman will attack. Actually, I think I can do these all together. Yeah, you don't have a save, so the run doesn't matter. Four is to hit. Four is to wound. Well, there's one wound, so <laughs> gets the zombie on a six up ward. Ward. Nope. Kills the zombie. Kill you. Boop. And in combat, you kill the model with your vampire lord, so he drinks the troll's blood and regenerates D3 wounds. He's gonna go up to one. Two. He doesn't deserve it. We're gonna kill him. Kill you. Battle shock. I think you're fine everywhere. You could inspire them over there. I, I have none to do. Yeah, I might as well. Yeah. Uh, champion. Because they're outside of it now, so I or will, I'll inspire presence them. The ones over here, on the other hand, are probably going to run away. I lost five of them. The bravery four down to three. So I lose five more. That's the rest of them. <gasps> God. You may have grabbed this objective because of that. Yep, it's totally yours. End of the battle round. You got all three objectives. So I lose 3d3. You don't have to roll it, man. You go down to I one. I go down to one, because yeah. I can't go below one. I don't know why they have that rule, but sure. Because you've enacted the ritual, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, got, I, just, I just have 13 more to go. That way you don't feel like you have zero, you have one at the yeah, end. Yeah, obviously I've lost, but we're still going to keep playing. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and <laughs> my vampire's at risk. Yeah, because I could still finish off some important stuff. So Absolutely. let's roll off. Well, first off, where's my bad moon go? Of course! <laughs> it skips, <laughs> skips over the middle, goes to the other side. That's how it plays. I play against that. Steve and it works for him. Never works for me. <laughs> Could have just gone to the middle and be like, yeah, you know what? Now I can do some damage. Whatever. So let's roll off and to see who goes next. I win ties. Absolutely. Want me to roll first? Yeah. I got a three. Three, yeah, again. Same, same thing. Four. Oh, I'll be All right. Sad. I'm going next. So you've got four command points. I've got two. Uh, heroic action. Let's do... I don't know. Who cares? You can recover. I don't. Why? I'm gonna recover. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you are. I'm gonna recover for <laughs> sure. You, poor little guy. Um, Fungoid K Shaman. Yeah, you know what? He's gonna recover. I got a plan for him. Nope, he's not. Okay, never what mind. What about you? Uh, let's not see that roll from. I'm gonna hero recovery. No. Nope. I get one. Oh, you do get one. That's I right. Heal You're bravery one. ten. You're bravery ten. You want to dispel that? I'm gonna spell? go ahead and before we go any further, I'm gonna try and dispel this endless spell. It doesn't matter from who will say uh, Nikolai. Yes. It's a six to cast. Okay. Oh, yeah, you hate that thing, eh? It's been now I do, now I do. I can't cast it this turn because it was just a spell. So I'm going to try to cast the Great Green Hand of Gork. I get it with a nine. So that's minus one. Who, who cast that? Um, oh, they're both probably. He within, did. They're both probably within 18 of that. Okay. Uh, I get, uh, yeah, no, sorry, it's minus one. Yeah, so eight. It lets you pick Teleport. something up and redeploy. What's the other spell you can do? The other one, I, well, I got like Arcane Bolt and stuff. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, I'm gonna just, you rolled an eight, I'm gonna try and stop that. Cause that's weird movement sh shenanigans. I don't like, ah, uh, no, no, that's. All uh, right. I knew it. Pew! I knew it. He's out of there. You ain't killing my general. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, hey, I get, I wonder if he'll come back to haunt me another day. Oh, <laughs> uh, you played a campaign against me before, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, really we're just here to see a couple things. Can I finish off your vampire lord? And how much damage could my big spider do? Here we please, go. Please. Oh wait, I guess I should do one more spell. Uh, Arcane Bolt. Yes, I made it with the six. And you can't unbind? I got nothing. You dispelled. So that moved over there. Everything else is locked in combat. Right? Except for him. So shooting phase. Shooters are all going to fire at your vampire lord. Hello, defense. And you're at lookout, sir, as well. But I'm still <laughs> doing it. I'm down to three. Uh, fives to hit. Here they get the plus one. And fives to wound. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Just bombard that general area. Yeah, fives to hit because of lookouts there. Don't be concerned. With oh, now he hits properly. Get life. Threes to wound. One wound, no rend. Two up. Hey. Oh, because it was D3 damage. I yep. He's been doing so bad. Thought <laughs> uh, just for funsies, we'll throw some bows into the doggies. We got 
Fives to hit. <laughs> Fives to wound. One wound. Ha ha, take that. No ran. Five up. That is a pass. That's good. Spider will charge. Yeah. Oh no. Blah, goes for your horsies. No. <laughs> Did you want to unleash hell? Mm, mm, hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, no. Uh, no, I'm not going to unleash You want to keep your command points? He's got like a good save and like I hit him five. So I'm not going to bother. Oh, okay. <laughs> as much as that big spider is obviously the... Nah, you know what? There's no point trying to kill your vampire lord now. Wait, he's, oh, he's only have... Because he's got too many. He's got too many wounds. But he had one wound left. That's one thing. So my Skitter Strand Arachnorok, As much as I charge both, I'm going to go after the dogs. Like I said, let's attack. You're going to all out defense your dogs. The Doom Wolf's going to howl to the moon, and my save's going to go up by one. Yeah, of course. We'll start with my chitinous legs. Um, yeah, I'm not close enough to all. I can't, I can't do any command abilities. So we're looking at fours to hit. All right, all right. Threes to wound. So three wounds at minus one. Minus one, so they go back to a five up. Oh. And a six up ward. Oh, how much damage is it? Just one. Oh, okay. Nothing. So that kills one. That'll kill one, yep. But then I have my monstrous fangs. So no. these have good potential. They're twos to hit, but sixes do D3 mortal wounds Ooh. instead. Threes to wound. So minus one. Five ups. Make another one. So that's three of them basically doing D3 wounds each. So we're looking at five wounds total. Five wounds of the ward. We make one, so that's four. Two more dogs today. All right, so we ate a bunch of dogs. Bloop, bloop. The dogs are gonna go ahead, and we can get on in here and swing at some spoders. And attack still. Get oh, that's a great roll. Yeah, there's no longer minus one hit, so. And that's uh, two wounds. Yep. One, one whole damage. Yeah, one damage. Is there six up save? Sorry, five up save, five up save. Oh, goodness, what do I do next? What do you do? What do I do? Um, I don't know, shoot us. <laughs> We're gonna try to kill more Grape Guard. No. And dogs. <laughs> everything, just gonna kill everything around them. Everything they can. It's just, I'm just like not gonna bother with the, the Vampire Lord is what I'm saying. Five into the dogs. Fives to hit. Fives to wound. One, that's one wound on the dogs. Hey, it could kill one. Don't have to worry about breaking your coherency though because they can still pile in. Five. And six up. Oh no, Ward. I'm like, oh, I failed the save. So I killed the dog. I know you're like, what? I, but it's a little grunt. Did something? Nine attacks against the uh, Grape Guard. <laughs> One hit. Nice. Nothing. Ah, great. I'll go with the zombies. I'm not going to bother piling them in. Could come after this guy, nah, but you don't okay. really care. It's a, I don't want to. I've moved them enough this game. <laughs> <laughs> Chop them up. Chop them up. Four, five, six, 15 attacks still. I have to hit. We got. Whoa. Five mortal wounds. Okay, he's dead. We got him. Yeah. We got him. Oh, that's a new zombie. Maybe. Two plus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got a big old zombie. spider zombie. Big old spider zombie. <laughs> okay, my spider riders will pile in. We're gonna get them all in this time. Ah. Spider bites. One mortal wound. Three hits. One wound. Four up because of all the defense. You and know, that's, that's mattered so much. Six up. So you do take a wound. Guys on top, we got fives to hit except for the leader who's fours to hit. And then they are uh, fours to wound. One more wound. Could kill a guy. I don't, because of all the defense. And I can chop up some shooters. Oh yeah, Nikolai's gonna go just to make sure he gets some kills, I suppose. Oh, he's gonna use the Ring of Dominion though, first. Five up. Oh, heck yeah, Grok kills himself! <laughs> yeah, I got him so yeah, this, good. This one, this one. Ah, he just takes the, he's loading up a bow, he's like, yeah, <laughs> just it up his own neck. I'm taking this stupid artifact every match play game. Yeah, play right, it's you. OP. Uh, it hits three times, he hits three times with the Spirit Blade and wounds all, <laughs> all three times. D3 damage each? Oh, I don't have a save against that. He's gonna cut down... Six of them. Wow. Gross. <laughs> 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 yes. I'm gonna go now just to, so I can fix the Dire Wolf's Yeah, you don't want to actually kill them all. Yeah, exactly. The... And then there, they're all chained. There you good. Go. They're happy. There you go. We got three of them attacking. They hit on fours, and they're gonna wound on fours. That's four Whoa, wounding geez. hits. All right, six up. Four, four. Let's kill four more. Oh, All right, seeing... Grape Guard, finish the job. Finish you want, the job. You want a command Absolutely, point? Crimson Feast. That's All right, good. Then I'll, just, I'll just remove those three drops. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the game over, but um, essentially, yeah, because they could have run away, and yeah. really, it's just the dire wolves that are gonna get caught between the spiders and the big spider. 
So we're going to remove the rest of them and allow them to get away and call the game over rather right. than playing out two more turns of just watching those dire wolves do nothing whoa, and whoa, slowly whoa, die. Whoa. What if I get a double turn and retreat? Okay, you know what? Roll it off. <laughs> Five. Right. So you do. Ah, they're still going to die. Whatever. I don't care. Because well, <laughs> hold on. Because it's... It wouldn't matter because if I, uh, if I get, go next... It's your you turn get, next. You yeah. would retreat anyway. And then you charge them. Yeah. And then I charge them. Oh, is this, is this your turn? Yeah. Okay, okay, so there you that, go. That's what I mean. That's that what I mean. Roll, okay, yeah. there you go. You, you, you kept them alive then. Yeah. So they ran away this way, and they, they run away, way. and then you do double turn and you get away. Okay, yeah. actually, that was a good call. That was a good call. Because I, I forgot that, yeah, you could just do that. So you you double turned! It saved your dire wolves. <laughs> okay, so you stop the ritual, and uh, that's a major victory, too. I'm going to destroy the crap out of that thing, too. Yeah. Screw that. You know what? We're, we're killing anything that tries to run away. Every Literally, the order goes, they'll kill all grots on site. <laughs> <laughs> but one little fungoid cave shaman. That guy I don't get. Glares at you from a distance. But we try. The the, the vampires like make sure you to Archibald, you, you send men out, find him. I don't find him. Oh you won't find him. <laughs> I won't he's, find him. No. He's he's gone into some cave, some uh, deep underground. Why? To muster his forces uh, and bring the bad moon one other day. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll for your casualties. So um, we're going to go through each unit, and you roll a die for each model that has been, been removed and not returned, and except the zombies, of course, they don't count as coming right back. Right. And if you roll a one, then that's a permanent casualty to that unit. So let's start over here. Crossbowman, he lost oh, one guy. Lost one. Is, is it just a flesh wound? It is. He's okay. He gets patched up. He's fine. Uh, eight you of lost them. eight of your hand gunners, though, so you got to roll eight dice. Oh! oh you're Are you going to do this where nothing dies? That's boring. I, I like. To, I, I can't imagine that the 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 the. the yeah. yeah, the spores. Five, five of the grave guard. Okay, could I roll for the deathly invocation for a couple of turns to see how many might come back? Nope. Oh, game's okay. over now. Game's over now. <laughs> You're <laughs> trying to kill my guy. Hey, oh, two, two grave, grave guard are gone. dead permanently. Um, well, yeah, not not permanently. Oh, until you that's right. Good. Them. Yeah, and then six dogs. Six dogs. Oh no, four <laughs> dogs are gone. All right, so let's write that down. Jesus. You know what? You know what? This is bothering Luca a lot, and I understand why. So you would have had two more turns of Deathly Invocation. So we'll do two more turns. Right. All, okay. all, all it would matter is on the Because there would still be more casualty twos right. from other stuff. All it could affect is the Graveguard. So they would get 2d3 back. So, so only three, three come back. So okay, so two of them are dead now. And, and then, none of them are permadead. Right. Now you could have brought back, so try, try yeah, twice. I have to do it tw uh, first one. No. Nope. Doesn't bring anyone back. Doesn't bring, okay, so, so I still, still lose that. Or the, those four. And then the, the zombies would have 2d3 come back as well. All right, right, right. And then so that's, th that's four less of them. And I was only missing. So they're back to full strength. Right. So I do lose all those dogs, though. Yeah. Four dogs are gone. That's the only thing you've lost so far, though. That's... Now, dogs over here, they might go, because you didn't have any way to bring them back. No, I'm missing six of them. And I missed two of them. So that's I'm missing... five. You're going to need to roll more. Oh, uh, oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Jeez, you're losing lots of dogs. I, yeah, so I two am. dogs from over here. And four, four dogs from over there. there. But in the end, that's your only casualties. I got it. That's, that's not too bad. On a four up, this is oh, it doesn't matter. This this is unit A. I just have them listed as the A and B. It doesn't really matter. They don't have matter. anything just yet. Mark yeah. them down. Now every unit that's still on the table, right now for you, you get one renown for them surviving the game, and you'll get some bonus renown for your vampire lord. It's two bonus renown for his major victory, and then you get to pick one unit to get D6 renown. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Sorry, I should also point out every unit that ends within six inches of an objective, but we have these units running away. So obviously, yeah, they would have closed into the objective, as would... So basically, we'll say every unit except these two that ran... Yeah, because they're boogieing. Could, could, um, ...could basically be within... So they get one extra renown for being within six inches of an objective. So you get one guy to get D6. Right, Who right. do you think was the coolest? Probably, honestly, I think Nikolai was. And I want to say... Right. ...the coolest moment is not when he survived the loon boss on Giant Cave Squig by having the Giant Cave Squig eat the loon boss with his Ring of Dominion. And then die. Not when he <laughs> charged in and killed that Shrogoth that was trying to beat up all his right. graveguard and tried to kill him. No, and actually almost dead. did. It was when that little Grot jumped up, stabbed, got through his armor, right. and he pulled a Thanos by holding up his Ring of Dominion, which I picture as him making a six-up ward. <laughs> and, they, and like, rah, the dagger's right near him, and then he just looks at him. And then he just he just shakes his head and he says fitting words, <laughs> and then he he just turns his fist and all of a sudden the guy turns and pulls the dagger. He's like, Aah! you just see the despair in the Grot's eyes. Like, oh no! <laughs> what a surprise! This vampire is gonna kill me. <laughs> and then he kills him. And then he drinks his blood and gets deep three wounds back. And he gets his wounds back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's it. Wasn't the troll's blood he killed? He no, drank. It, was it was that little Grot. The Grot's. And he's like, this is a worthy adversary. And that's gonna be D six renown. Two. Oh, and because it's just a crap, you only it's get only two. Crap, but that's seven. 
Is he at seven now? Because, uh, well, you gave, oh, me, yeah, yeah, you yeah. gave me the extra one for the heroic action of killing the loon boss when he charged hey, in. Hey, you know what? You earned that. You earned that. Because <laughs> you said that was so cool. <laughs> he, get, he gets his first upgrade then. So I have a custom table for the Vampire Lord upgrades. So at seven, you have to choose between one of the following. And these are minor ones. They get more, they get yeah. more impressive as they go higher. You can either get the ability to cast and unbind one additional spell. That's cool. And so that would allow him to, when he dispels, he could still cast yeah. a spell. And the other one is plus two to his wounds. Which he got really close to dying. <sighs> That's right. Oh, as Matthew showed me these before we started playing. Like, this is the one I had the hardest decision on. Yeah, so, so every single one of these steps, <sighs> he chooses one of them and he can never, ever, ever have the other one. This is like Dark Revenant or Dark Acolyte. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. Man! Because the two, like, the, the you casting... You both of them, right? Obviously. The casting one is very powerful, obviously, because then I could always do my Endless Spell, and then I could do like Mystic Spirit Shield Gale or, or Mystic Shield. Or you could dispel an Endless Spell. But having those two extra wounds could be very critical. Uh, I like the magic. I think I like the magic too much, but I want the wounds. But the wounds are boring. Like, the way I look at it, the wounds are boring in a way, but they're super good. But the magic is fun. Also very good. <laughs> but the wounds are more practical because I'm going to build them as a close combat guy. So like the more wounds he has, the more long. The close combat guy, you can throw a Mystic Shield on himself with that extra. There's save. that too, yeah. But there's also all of defense. But then I could all of defense, finest hour, and Mystic Shield against like a Ren three guy or something. So or you get Arcane Bolt and then charge in and do D three. That's mortal true. Wounds. Ah, bam, Bolt. See, that's cool too. Okay. But yeah. then plus two wounds would have just that that little shoot up wouldn't have been able to do anything against him, right? That two wounds. I, I, there's gonna be a lot of times in this campaign where he's gonna die. Kind of like if I had two more wounds. <laughs> <laughs> if I had two more wounds, this would have been fine. <sighs> I'm gonna take the magic. I'm gonna take the magic. Okay. That's a hard. I'm, I'm glad that you had a hard choice. That was. That's, that's, that's a hard choice. Yeah. I wanted to make it uh, that way. When he upgrades again, he can once per battle summon direwolves or fell bats, or he can give a minus two bravery penalty bubble in twelve inches, which you can see can really combine the stuff. At the next level, he can do a command ability once per turn without spending a command point, or games always strikes first. And the last one is like really awesome. You can just look this up on our, our rules. Now we look at glory points. So we played at the 1500 point level. So you fought, you get 10 glory points. You won a major victory, that's five glory points. Your warlord took part in the battle and was not slain. Two more glory points. So 17 more glory. So you have a total of 31 glory now. Currently, yeah. So here's the things that Luca can spend glory on. Yeah. He can rebuild his city. That's in the Path of Glory system, Bring it that's up bringing level, your stronghold yeah, yeah. levels. That allows him to control more territories. Right now you now control one territory right. and you have a maximum of three. It allows you to uh, recoup and reinforce for slightly cheaper and allows you to establish another outpost which lets you upgrade a territory as well. So that's, that could be what you do right now, but that would drain all of your glory. What's that wizard one called? Is it called Arcane Lighthouse or...? Uh, waypoint. Waypoint, okay. I gotta. I forgot to write that down. I'll write that down later. Yeah, so, you, you started with that one so you could have the extra yeah. wizard. Um, and because of this territory that you just conquered, you just gained access to Borderlands. Border. That's right, that's Borderlands. Yeah. Which I've, I've slightly changed because it, I, I don't have to worry about balance as much. Borderlands basically says after every game, you can pick a unit that didn't participate and they say that they patrol the Borderlands. Yeah. On a four up, they get a renown. It's narratively perfect too, because this is literally an area I would just constantly be patrolling. Too. Well, that's, yeah. what I, that's what I'm trying to yeah. choose. I'm trying to make them the territories that make sense. Yeah. And so for that one, I'm just changing it that they automatically get a renown. So you just choose a unit. And okay. then if you upgrade that, then it's two units. Wait, sorry, what's the normal rule for it? On a four up, they get a renown. Oh, gross. Yeah. Well, yeah. the idea is that you're playing lots of games, right? Yeah, that's Here we're true. playing less games in this campaign. We're probably playing between 14 and 16. Right. Yeah. So I want it to matter. Um, so yeah, so you can also spend glory points in adding more barracks because you're at your maximum number of units. Right. Um, and you can also spend your glory on recuperating. Not yet. Soon. But yeah. I, I, I want to try and get his... Uh, um, the glory represents reputation. And I want, I do want to try and recruit some blood knights. I want them on the roster. But you're at roster. your maximum. I'm at my max roster, so I got to up my roster limit. Which means you need to find the right territory to up. I got to. So that, yeah, I'm gonna. Or fire a unit from there. You nah, I don't want to fire you yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna try and hunt down for that. That's the one goal I want. Obviously, the end goal is to upgrade my city, but I don't need to do that until my territories are maxed out. I'm at two territories now, I guess actually. I might just have one. Just one. Just we one. Don't, we're okay. not counting that. We're saying that your home base gave you an extra wizard access. Gotcha. Okay. So, because normally, like I said, normally you got to start with three territories. Yeah. So we're basically start counting as you starting with one. I think I might bank them for now and spend a lot more yeah. after the second game. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you don't want to like upgrade your stronghold. Yeah. And then all of a sudden be poor. Right. For and be like, oh shoot! I, the next game you get like trounced. 
Yeah. And lose tons of stuff. And you're like, oh, I need to recoup. Yeah. Or you have a territory you want to upgrade. Yeah. And that kind of stuff too. The border, upgrading the Borderlands right away is probably a good idea. So I've changed the upgrade values for those because you're not getting, you won't be playing as many games. So they're normally 15. It'll be 10 glory to upgrade it. You know what? I'll automatically upgrade this one right now. Okay. I think, I think I'll do that. So spend 10 glory to upgrade the Borderlands. I'm at 21. So you actually, what that means is you actually build a bastion there. That's, yeah, that's, that's the idea. Like I took over this area. It's a crap swamp, but it's the only way to get foot forces into this outpost I have that connects to my main city. So that is important. That was the main thing. So you build a bastion there, spend 10 of your glory. Right. And now after every game, you can pick two units that did not participate, send them in the Borderlands, and they yep. both get a renown. They'll just be patrolling it. Exactly. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, well that sounds pretty neat. Brings you back down to 21 glory. Yes. Um, you've got an upgrade in your Vampire Lord. Everybody else is heading towards that. You stopped a ritual. The Fungoid Cave Shaman got away. I'm sure that won't narratively come back to bite you in the butt. I never do things like that. You come back with a Mega War Boss on my crusher called uh, Hamma Throw. Hamma Throw. <laughs> what are your dreams? <laughs> yeah, wow. What do, what do Vampire Lords dream of while they recoup? Of Hamma Throw. Mega War Boss is named <laughs> Hamma Throw. <laughs> you get it, you get it. Well, I think we've covered everything. If we have it, you'll see me come back in another clip in a second. <laughs> I'm pretty, we got this. I'm pretty sure we did everything though. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget, if you want to watch this whole narrative campaign for free and you're not a Vault member, there's a link below. It's miniwargaming.com slash conquest. And that allows you, if you sign up yeah. for a seven day free trial through that link, you can have this entire narrative campaign for free, even if you cancel. And that's as simple as that. We hope that you can stick around, of course, because it helps us and allows us to do things like this. And that's our Vault members are what support us. Like that is why we are in business. So if you enjoy our content, please consider being a Vault member and supporting us at any level. Any level would be great. But silver level, you get tons of discounts and it's easy to pay back your membership. Yeah. No problem. So go check that out. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Wargaming.